Hi guys, I'm back again with another video. Now this time we are going to take a look at the Mi Wi-Fi app uh, which is used to control the Mi router. So let's open it up. So once you open it up, it will automatically do a, a connection test. It will check if you are connected and then it will check the speed of your network. So right now I'm at slow speed. I've exhausted my regular internet. So it will tell me. So I'm at 12 mbps right now now this is the way it looks like now uh, for you to get this menu you'll have to be in the router mode uh, there is a repeater mode in the repeater mode you cannot have this menu you cannot control the devices so let's go ahead and see all the devices so there are all these devices which are connected or which are registered with this uh, router now all these are not connected right now they're all offline now these are the ones which are connected so i have the mi a1 the amazon fire stick the dealing camera uh, note 4 uh, the ipad and the samsung note 3 which is connected to the network right now so what all options do i get with the devices so once the device is connected i'll just go into it and it'll give me this menu so I can put this, uh, put this device into block list so I'll block it uh, then uh, this device cannot access the router anymore then you have an online notification option which uh, if turned on then will send you a message whenever this device connects to your um, uh, router so uh, QoS so you have quality of service so you just click on that you have two options upload speed and download speed so once it's on you get these two extra menu so you can control how much of upload speed uh, do i want to give this device and how much of download speed i need to give this device now uh, below that you have deny internet access so i can go into that and i can completely deny internet access but the person can use uh, the local network but it ca uh, the person cannot use internet and then i have something which is called a scheduled disconnection so if i go into scheduled disconnection then it will give me a, a time to add so i can add a time that every day or maybe uh, every weekday or once or custom however i feel like like i want certain days to be uh, in added into it i can use that um, now i can put in the disconnection time and the restoration time so at this time uh, according to this it's 12 o'clock uh, the device will get disconnected and at 11:59 uh, it will get connected again so we have to change the time so whatever time whatever date you want to uh, put you can put that so the good thing is it's not on the router itself it's on the device so whichever you you can have a number of devices connected to the same router but all the devices will have different settings so you can set up one device to have full access and set up one device to uh, just use uh, internet between this time to this time like for your kids you can uh, uh, set up the time so it's it's a good option i've been searching for this uh, but these options are generally not available in cheaper um, routers so you'll have to spend nine ten thousand for a good router where you'll have this kind of features um, okay let's go out of this menu now you have access control now this is also a good thing but there's a limitation in this now in access control you can block urls and uh, you can put url exceptions so for example you can block uh, everything but only allow a certain one a certain url to work that's block uh, url exceptions and then url block list will have all the uh, urls that you want to block now uh, for example i can put a block uh, YouTube so I can put www.youtube.com uh, but the catch is it will only work with the web browser so if you open up the YouTube app uh, YouTube will still work but on a web browser it will not work so this only works with web browsers um, rest apps are not affected by it so that's basically it you have all these options here um, you can change the name of your device itself from here you can just put in whatever name uh, it doesn't pick up the names I have personally put the names over there of my devices um, the good thing is you do have a guest option so you have guest devices I can select guest option and then allow a different network altogether for a uh, guest login 
so you'll have a, a guest login separate and you'll have a, a regular login separate so when you search for Wi-Fi you'll have you'll find two different Wi-Fi's being broadcasted so that's also a good thing uh, you get plugins let's go to the plugins tab now in plugins you have updates so you can update the router firewall settings uh, Wi-Fi boost uh, quality of service Wi-Fi timers schedule reboot and then uh, share uh, router now share router gives gives uh, uh, a different device permissions to use the router in case you are not there now in you if you go into Wi-Fi timer the difference here is it will set the entire timer for the uh, the timer is set for the entire Wi-Fi um, like over there we had option of uh, setting Wi-Fi time for certain phones uh, or internet time for certain phone this is Wi-Fi timer which basically it will switch off the router um, between this time to this time switch off and switch on at this time so that's also a good option in case you want that uh, schedule reboot so you can uh, schedule a reboot on the router put it there so that it reboots whenever you scheduled it uh, QoS will give you your current speed so it uh, says that I have like 12 Mbps uh, speed right now uh, QoS is on I can switch it off if I want to but uh, I've kept it on so these are the options that you find over here uh, you do find this Wi-Fi boost option I don't know how much will it boost uh, but when you click that it automatically starts the boost it uh, scans for the Wi-Fi channels and then uh, checks the signal strength and the network speed and tries to um, fix that but at the end it just shows me a firewall so I don't know how effective it is but it does uh, try to search for the uh, signal strength so let's see uh, what does it say now okay so it says no optimization required and then in the end it just shows you you might also like to use the firewall setting so uh, that's all that it does uh, one more thing um, the router does have a wall penetration mode into it uh, but that option does not come on the app you'll have to go in with the web browser uh, through the computer and then you can um, access that option too so by default it is on uh, wall penetration mode um, if you go into the app on the computer then you will see that so uh, other than that in settings you have these options now the Wi-Fi settings you can go into Wi-Fi setting it'll uh, give you all the information about your Wi-Fi you can change your password do all these things over here um, you don't have a, a 5 gigahertz band you just have a 2.4 gigahertz band on this one but the one um, there is another one which is a dual band one this is a single band one um, the difference is that one also comes with a USB port now network setting so in network setting you can set up VPN if you know a uh, VPN setting you just have to put in the name password uh, the server ID and all and then login uh, internet mode setting basically gives you the option to change the mode now right now it's on dynamic IP uh, address now I can change that to manual or automatic um, it will only come in handy for people who are uh, creating servers at home um, but otherwise just leave it on automatic now I can switch mode on top I can click on that now it gives me all these options so these are the options that it will work with so it has broadband internet access regular you put in your uh, account id and password and it will connect static ip so it's an ip address given by your I, uh, isp but uh, norm normally nowadays you don't get a, sta a static ip uh, if you want one it's pretty expensive so it's never not been used that much for home purpose uh, wireless repeater so this is a good mode um, it will take a wireless connection and then repeat it now you have a choice of using the same name same router name or a different one it normally puts a plus at the end uh, there is a way that you can change that too and then you have a wired repeater mode in case you have a modem but you uh, or a router uh, which does not have good strength uh, wireless strength uh, but you want to increase that you can just plug it in wired and then use that that way also so uh, that's all the modes that you get over here um, then you have reboot and then feedback and then more in more you just have notifications uh, notifications show notifications for me Wi-Fi do not disturb then you have language user experience router settings backup so you can back up the router setting in case you reset it you want to put it back again later on so you can do that 
and uh, you have the sign out option. Uh, I really like all the options that this router gives you, uh, especially the router has gone down, the price has gone down now, it's only for $9.99, so it's a good purchase if you want to buy that. Uh, I am really liking the router, it's one of the best routers I've ever used. Uh, it gives me the flexibility of uh, controlling my internet, controlling the devices when I'm not even at home. Uh, and if someone connects to my network, someone maybe like someone tells someone my password, like uh, you, know, you may think your password is actually uh, safe, but uh, a lot of times uh, your family members or your, um, someone will give out your password and someone else will come to know and they will log in. So this way uh, you get a notification of a new device. It will uh, uh, give you options to control the device and you can just block the device permanently from your uh, router. So or maybe no internet but uh, network access so whatever you feel like you can do it even when you're not home so you, you may be uh, your router may be in india you may be sitting in america and from there you can uh, control the router in india so that's what i like about this router okay so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe hit the like button and do comment and i'll see you again with another video bye bye